before starting this first we have to should follow the safety procedures which is mentioned in the manual hi everyone in this video i will be showing you how to do scavenge port inspection in this scavenge port inspection it will be very useful to see the condition of this cylinder liner piston scratch and piston rod and piston ring this is the video of before cleaning stop scavenge space we are doing this cleaning to reduce the scavenge box fire so by cleaning we can reduce we can remove oil sludge and carbon deposit in the scavenge box and the receiver in connection with the inspection in this video now we are seeing is after clean this inspection or cleaning should be carried out at least a month or if the voyage is a long voyage you can do after you reach the port it is for safety purpose by seeing this cabin space you will come to know the machinery performance this need performance is is if there is any piston ring broken or if there is any block this is this is scavenge receiver before going inside to the scavenge receiver for doing inspection always you should have a enclosed space permit so as soon as you enter first we see the visual condition of the scavenge receiver we will see whether there is a oil accumulation or water accumulation or any other metal particle is inside in this ship when we do inspection when we start inspection the condition was okay so one more thing one more important thing is when you go inside you should have a turning gear remote control switch this remote control switch be should be always with you so that you guys to avoid the miscommunication so this will go around the liner the liner area you can see there was no any lot of sludge accumulation so we will have a inspection of the piston chrome for any leakages oil oil fuel oil or water we have a with the piston ring piston ring free moment the stick to piston ring can break so we have, we can do the piston ring moment check by two methods one by moving with the turning gear up and down you can see the moment of the piston ring another method is by pressing with the piston block now we will check the axle clearance axle clearance can be taken by using the feeler gauge clearance between the groove and the piston ring So just insert your feeler gauge inside and check whether it is going go go or no go. So whatever the reading you get, you just write in your book. So for your reference. Next is the piston cut inspection. In the piston cut inspection, you can see the lashing wire of the all bolts. If some lashing wire is missed in that bolt, it means that some bolt has been twisted or removed from its place. So by looking at this, we will come to know how what is the condition of the bolt. This is the scavenge box fire sensor. With this, you will come to the, know the temperature of the scavenge of uh, particular unit scavenge box. This is the scavenge box temperature sensor. The other one is the scavenge alarm. Next, we will see the scavenge air flaps. This air flap should be moving, moving, moving freely. When you leave, it should move. Oh, let me up with a bright smile on now. Put me in the dark, so won't get lost now. To the moonlight, I.